Greetings, friends. It's me, Wayman29, and uh, my my wifey's sleeping, so I have to keep it down. But um, hope hopefully you can all hear me. Um, let me try turn up my mic here. Um, I I wanted to come on and apologize for uh if if I came across as uh rather harsh sometimes while debating in or or discussing theological topics in Stickham. Um, I end up uh, becoming very passionate about uh, people understanding uh, things in the in the correct context, or having a variety of sources for things and knowing where things came from and where ideas may have originated. And um, I realize that not everybody uh, has a knack for doing that, and not uh, everybody uh, takes the time to do it, or 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 can even uh, take the time to do it. And uh, sometimes uh, I, I I go overboard and um, maybe come across as arrogant and think I know everything. However, uh, my my statements uh, I just wanna I just want people to think uh, just a little bit deeper. Uh, so so if it seems that um, maybe I'm picking on some people, it's it's not that at all. It's just that I want them to consider something that that may be important and and shed some different different uh, points of view on, on a particular uh, topic. Um, the, the question has come up is, uh, uh, what kind of scholarship is out there? And if you were a person of religion, um, or, or particularly of the biblical text, um, where would you get your information from? Uh, that's a tough question, because uh, what you have to do is read a lot of things. Read a lot of things and different opinions about things, and eventually it's up to you on what's true or not. Some conversations go like, well, is that source credible? Well, there's different forms of credibility, and then in the end, um, the uh, credibility is um, an opinion. Uh, you read a lot of things, read what the person says, look at the person's background, education, uh, what, what, what types of beliefs, um, influence that writer to write those things and what's his motive for writing what he wrote and um, at, at times um, writers uh, or readers do not like to think about the writer as having a motive but there are motives and people just don't write for no reason they write for a reason including all the biblical writers and every any piece of literature uh, that was ever written was written uh, with a, with an underlying motive uh, and a reason, either it was uh, at times in the biblical text, uh, it was in retaliation to possibly ideas uh, they were writing against. Uh, I mean, they're writing uh, in retaliation to um, I ideas they disagreed with, and so that needs to be looked at also. And uh, one of my biggest issues is looking at the Old Testament through. Uh, the lens of New Testament theology. I, I, I get so worked up about that because it, it, it totally takes the Old Testament uh, clearly out of context. Um, people say, why, why would, if my car is broken down, I would take it to a mechanic? Um, however, I'm saying, I'm saying, if your car is broken down, take it to the dealership. Talk to the people on the production line. Find out where that material comes from. Who imported the metal? How is the transmission comprised? Uh, many may feel that that's going overboard. However, if you want to know exactly how your car runs and its origins enough to be able to talk about it, you need to know it like the back of your hand what bolts go where, why are those bolts there, and what do they do for that part. What's what's the torque? What's the torque? Or how tight should that bolt be? And, and that's what I believe in doing if you're going to uh, step into the d debate and, and, and learn more about um, religion and, and its many vast, vast dimensions and, and how it's comprised. Um, I just I just wanted to, good scholars uh, uh, to pick. Uh, I 
I've, I have this book. I, I read the Anchor Bible commentaries. I would suggest anybody who has an interest in the Bible to buy these up. The Anchor Bible commentaries, uh, they're real cheap. You can buy them used on Amazon. They've been out for a long, long time. It gives many views and many theories on particular uh, topics. It goes from Genesis. I, I believe there's one for each book of the Bible. Some are still currently being uh, printed, and, and, and some of them can get very expensive, but uh, the older ones, and the majority of them are older, they're out there, and it's um, uh, many theories about how text originated, where they came from, and, and the context. And, and, and what's amazing is, um, I, I can watch a video, say for example, on the idea of the creation story in Genesis from a uh, Christian, evangelical possibly, then a totally different video from a Jewish person and it says something totally different. Now, in my opinion, they were all Jewish texts and I would have to go with the Jewish interpretation of that. So if you all want to read the Old Testament in correct context, go to a Jewish source, the Jewish Tanakh uh, is a great text, Hebrew on one side, English on the other, from the Jewish Publication Society Bible. I believe it's the 1985 or 84 translation. Excellent text. And, and read some of that. Uh, also, a writer who is able to discuss his opponents um, in his text and discuss his opponent's views in his text has a profound res respect for the medium itself and for the hard research that goes into it. And a lot of times these books like the Anchor Bible Commentaries and, and many other researchers that I have read will go through great lengths in explaining their opponent's views and countering each of those views and they still appreciate the hard work even though they d agree to disagree. And through that, you see this, this, the process of wrangling. Uh, you end up with um, conclusions that are just opinions, but are just options that you could go to um, in thinking about it in many different ways. So, um, the whole idea of truth, people say, I have the truth. What, me, what, what, what I believe they're mainly talking about is that anything that is in direct alignment with their particular theology. Anything that is outside of that box is untrue. People are labeled as being false teachers and I myself have been labeled as such and marginalized at times but I don't have an issue with that because I expect it. Now the worst place um, to go uh, somebody brought up and I wanted to discuss the website Answers in Genesis. They talk about the, you know, answering DNA and, and all that. Right off the bat, um, these types of websites, even though there are uh, somewhat answers to people who um, may not be into all the scholarly stuff, can go go to as a quick resource to tell somebody who who may not be into it all and maybe persuade them somewhat different and offer another opinion, this has a heavy, heavy hand of evangelical theology and ideas behind it. Um, if you want to read the Epic of Gilgamesh, uh, right here, um, I picked up this book. It's real cheap. It's backwards on the screen, but it's the Epic of Gilgamesh. Um, it's the uh, uh, N.K. Sanders version. She's a really good archaeologist actually was in the field and these people actually translate the canoe farm they aren't part of any religion and they do it as a science so you can read this stuff for yourself you can read it for yourself with all the without all the underlying theological uh, jabs and you read it you look at it and you and you discern for yourself um, uh, and think about it and think about the comparisons and think about the influences because of course answers in Genesis is going to say that the Hebrew texts are are far older 
than any of this stuff and anything after that is just a perversion of the biblical text and just like any website that's motivated against evangelicals will say the opposite but here you can read the text for yourself find good scholars who are actually in the field who can read Hebrew who can read Greek French German and a lot of the languages that the texts were originally translated in because a lot of the archaeology uh, was translated um, from the original languages into French and German so a scholar has a tough time uh, unless he knows Greek and uh, French I mean French and German to uh, get decent uh, uh, logs from archaeology and, and findings that people have done um, uh, so that's why if you went to school uh, for this type of thing you would have to learn uh, along with Greek and Hebrew and its many variations you would also have to learn uh, some French and German um, so I, I just wanted to put that out there some thoughts uh, hang in there um, I'm, I'm gonna try to um, to uh, go through you can check out the answers in Genesis uh, if you're looking for an evangelical uh, idea on the text however uh, there's 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 just just that heavy heavy underlying theological um, uh, uh, influence that I'd, I'd, I'd rather not have. In all honesty, I'd rather not have it. Um, and it also the, uh, like the atheists and, and some who are opponents of religious ideas use the Skeptics Annotated Bible. Um, that's fine at noticing the differences, but if you don't have no idea why those differences are there and how they came about, then um, it's pretty much useless also. But um, for those who just want to skim the surface and don't want to check out the larger part of the iceberg that's underneath the water, uh, those websites will do fine. So um, just real quick, I know I already spent 12 minutes talking. This is a long video. New Testament stuff. Um, Geezer Vermes. Um, he has a book out. Uh, Jesus the Jew, a historian's reading of the Gospels, and also he has the changing faces of Jesus. You can check those out. Those are great. I'd recommend all of Karen Armstrong's book. She, she's an excellent anthropologist, and uh, she had a book out, The Great Transformation, which shows how religious ideas transform through time, and um, uh, a history of God she wrote, and a book on the Crusades. So, uh, Take care, YouTubers. Take care of yourself and each other. And remember, if everybody's thinking alike, then somebody isn't thinking.